Hello and welcome to another episode of my Recreating Napoleon's Empire series in EU4, Mew and Taxes, the mod, which I believe is available on Steam if you want to play it. I think I downloaded it off of Steam. Not sure, can't really remember. I'm pretty sure it's there, because this thing keeps updating, so I'm pretty sure it's there. Um, yep, so I just finished conquering Naples. And now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Okay. All of my provinces are getting that. And I've never given any of them money. It's like, uh, people knocking on the door. Oh, yes. That's the uh, Napoleon Dynamite, yes. Because it's topical. Because this is Napoleon, get it? Napoleon Dynamite, Napoleon. A 5-3-5. Five, Fort here? I think this is the most useless fort that I have. There's a fort here. Is there a fort here too? There's a castle there, and there's a castle there, and there's a castle here. There's a castle here. <laughs> Damn, there's tons of castles. So this is just redundant. So, bye bye castle, even though they're gonna say, don't destroy building. I'm gonna destroy building. If it created a problem with the estate's building, oh well. Speaking of, I mean they don't—they don't really have money, so they're not messed up. They have money, but then they also make a thousand ducats a year, so. I don't think there was any problem. Hey, burgers are back. I'm gonna increase that by 10. I'm gonna check out education. Okay, education is fine. It's balanced, it's nice. Oh, ah, yeah, have Brittany. Uh, so once I get positive here, I'm going to check out the annexation of Brittany and see how long that takes and probably do that. Then at the same time, I'm going to wait for these cores to re uh, these cores to be finished. All right, free 10 prestige. Wait for these cores to be finished and then issue the edict of Mul Milan. Maloin? I'm not sure how to pronounce this. It's not Milan though. Maloins. And then with that, I can make my appanages into vassals and annex them. Hopefully I don't have to wait to integrate them. Like, not integrate them, but whatever it costs. Whatever the... Um, You know what I'm talking about, this thing? Hopefully I don't have to do that. Because they've been here for 200 years. I 
I have a slight cold today. I need to increase my maintenance so that this can decrease, which it is. Is not. Uh, this might just be better to. It's only seven thousand. I cannot improve relations with these guys. I can improve relations with these guys, actually. Fortunate thing is I have a couple of slots. And then once I annex Brittany, I'll get another one. And then I can... I have a couple of slots remaining, so I can make those guys vassals immediately. I won't have to wait that long. Probably make these and these... Of course, all these all these appendages except Anjou have three provinces. Different levels, though. Probably be one of these guys because they're closer. I don't want to count how many pops they have, so I'm probably just gonna do both of those. Oh, you know what I'm going to do, actually? I have cores on these provinces, so I'll just... Once they become vassals, I will seize land, seize these four provinces, and then it should be pretty quick to take these two to integrate them. I'll do that with all of them, except Anju. I'll probably just integrate them, since I don't have cores over here. I have cores on all these, no, I have claims, but not cores, just this one. Alright, I'm now positive, so let's see how long this will take. 9 sure improve relations. some discoveries down here, over here, up here. I think it's mostly just over here. There's actually a 22% chance of me inheriting them. What's the other guys? Negative 28%? Negative 24%. Alright, integrate. It will take 12 years. And all of my dip power. So for 12 years, I will not have dip tech. I will not have dip mana. Alright, but it's worth it. These are some grade A provinces. Tons of pot. I'm not going to count them all, but.
I'm gonna take this before it gets too far down. With the um before it gets too late with the printing press. Is what I need. Country. Brittany has 200 pops. That's what, 2 million? Two million people live in this section. And almost a million live right there. Seven hundred thousand live there. Uh, So this will be good for trade. I think once once I get all of these, once I get them annexed, and I've taken these provinces, then I will switch my node to the channel. Because there's what? There is 18 ducats here, and there's 12 ducats here. Of course, I control 76% of the ducats here, and I only control 28% of the ducats in that trade node. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to. Where's the Netherlands? I can always enable divert trade. It depends. The assumption, my assumption is that once Brittany is gone, and once these guys are weakened, the relative power of all marches and vassals to France is going to decrease a lot. Unfortunately, Diptek that might go negative. That might go negative even more. Because I'm not going to have dip mana for the next 12 years. But I, I think I should be in a better position where I can divert train. Did I make England? I can make England my vassal. Or not my vassal, my uh, rival. And issue an embargo. All right. That was the aggressive expansion. So I am waiting for these quarters to go down. And I am also waiting for these deal peace deals to end. You know what I think I'm going to do? It's not going to look... I've, I've accepted the fact that my empire is not going to look exactly like Napoleon's empire in real life. I hope that's not a problem. I hope I'm not disappointing anybody. There's going to be some differences. So, 
he had Swiss Switzerland was right here the Confederation of the Rhine was up here and then there's a Cisalpine Republic right here and then there was another country here he owned this territory directly and this territory right here was directly France but for the purposes of this game I'm not gonna own that territory directly because it's worthless not that it's worthless but it would take a lot of effort to get that down to get the autonomy down to a level where it would actually be worthwhile so I just give it to Ancona and then he had I think he had Naples so Naples will exist and will go along with historical lines but this will just all belong to Ancona and I think what I'm gonna do is just have this this area right here that would normally be the Cisalpine Republic is just going to be Switzerland so instead of the Swiss having just a little bit of territory right here I'll give them all of this and then France also owned some territory over here directly but I'm just gonna leave that with Hungary and Croatia the Confederation of the Rhine and these borders should stay the same for the most part I'm not sure what I'm gonna do over here because this was the Prussia but Prussia has not formed it's still Brandenburg so I'm not sure and I also at some point might take London from England it's completely ahistorical but I think for the purposes of EU4 and mu and taxes because my money won't be maximized in this trade node unless I take that I might be forced to take it to make as many ducats as I can in trade I'm not entirely sure and it, it won't be for a while if I do Alright, so the betrayal of the Messiah event fired. Alright, so I'm going to bring this up to five speed. This will be done in three years. The peace deals will be done in three years so it looks like everything's gonna happen in three years I think what I'm going to do is alright this is not going down at all so I'm just gonna let that fire Just deal with them, it's only 7,000. Ancient claim revealed as false. I'll pay him off. I'm subsidizing Ancona still. Why has Hungary been placed under interdict? That's not cool. Leave Hungary alone. Alright, so I'm actually going to end this part. I'm going to do a time skip, I believe, of three years when the peace deals with the Italian miners ends and when these cores will be done. So I will see you, hopefully you join me, in three years.
Thank you.